your girl Dej and I'm back with another banger video and in today's video as you guessed by the title we are going to be doing some large knotless braids with some curls at the end. I will also insert a picture of the idea right here <laughs> that I was thinking of to do for this style. Let's get into this video. So I will be starting off and freshly washed and blow dried hair as you guys can see. Products that you will be needing for this would be Red One, Aqua Wax, Parting Comb, Hair Ties, and Pre-Stretched Expression Braiding Hair. So the colors that I will be using is Black, Midnight Blue, and Gray. Yeah, so let's get started. First, I'll be unloosing the braids that I put in after I blow dried my hair, and then I'm going to section my hair into three sections so two in the front and one in the back right here i'm just showing you guys how much my hair grew oh, i'm so excited look at the length guys i mean the front is still uneven but look at the length so remember i said i would section my hair here are these sections so i parted it down the middle and then i have one big section in the back so i'm just gonna turn around 360 give y'all a look so you guys can see how my parts look so this is how I sectioned out my hair. Now I'm taking the subsection of my hair in the front and I'm going to part it down the middle, creating two different rows in my hair. Having done that, now I'm going to apply the red one edge wax and I'm just going to line my part with that. And then I'm going to re-part that section to make sure that I have a clean and even part. Neatly tucked one section away and now I'm applying the red one to the outer parts of the section so I can have a neat flat braid. And I'm just going to rub that product in as well as comb through it with my comb and detangle with the product in my hair to make sure that my braid is flat and neat. To start an even braid, I separated my hair into three sections and then I started braiding. Once I braid it down at least two times, I am now going to pick up a piece of braiding hair. And insert it underneath my pointer finger and in between my thumb. Once I've done that, I'm going to hold securely and continue to braid down. I also applied a little bit more of the red one on top of the hair to keep it neat as I braid down. So this step is very repetitive but I just take another piece of braiding hair and I'm going to insert it again underneath my pointer finger and in between my thumb and then continue to braid down. These are the steps to creating the perfect knotless braid. It's very repetitive, so I hope you learned something. I will do it one more time for you on the next braid so you guys can understand. Subscribe! So guys, I forgot to mention that this is in real time. I have not sped it up or slowed it down. This is actually me braiding in real time doing a knotless braid. Please pay close attention to what I do when I'm doing one braid because after I show you guys a couple braids, I am just going to fast forward. I see you watching my armpits, don't judge me. Before you continue watching, make sure you pause this video and hit the like button and make sure you turn on your post notification and subscribe to your girl. Okay guys, I know you guys are getting bored of seeing me add in here, so I'm just going to speed it up right here and get on to the next one. Be 
because I am adding curls to the ends of my braids, I take a small strand of hair and then I create a single strand knot at the end where I want to stop my braid and then I leave it out until I'm ready to curl. Next braid, yay! Okay, so I'm gonna be doing the same steps and I'm gonna take the red one aqua wax and I'm just gonna apply it to the perimeter of the section that I have here prepped for my braid. Again, to start my braid, I grab three different pieces of hair and then I start to braid down once and then twice and then I grab a piece of braiding hair so I take the braiding hair and I put it underneath my pointer finger and thumb and then I braid down once twice and grab another piece insert it the same way right underneath my pointer finger and thumb and braid down once and twice and then I'm going to grab another piece of braiding hair I'm gonna place it under my pointer finger and thumb again and I'm braiding down once and then I am braiding down twice and I'm gonna continue doing that until I get to the thickness that I desire and continue to braid down and then tie a single strand knot at the end of the braid and move on to the next once I've completed this section, I will come back when I reach to the other side. Now that I've finished the front, I'm going to start with the back and I'm going to part from the top of my right ear to the top of my left ear straight across, as straight as I can get it because I'm not using any mirrors because I'm bad like that. Now I'm just playing. But <laughs> yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do here. So now I'm just going to show you the part. I will clean it up off camera. But yeah, this is basically what it's going to be looking like. Okay, don't judge me. My parts are a little crooked but it is what it is. I tried my best. So I'm going to apply the red one edge wax around the perimeters like I did with the previous spreads. And I'm going to split my hair into three different sections. One, two, three. And I'm going to start braiding down my hair. Now I am going to add a piece of braiding hair. The same way I did the front, underneath my pointer finger and thumb, and I'm going to braid down once, and then braid down twice, and add in another piece of extension braiding here. And I'm going to continue doing this, and when I reach to the top, I will come back. When I tell you this was an arm workout, it was definitely an arm workout, but I'm finally at the top and I have one more braid to do, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue braiding this one down and when I reach the last braid, I'll come back and show you how I curl the ends. back okay so i'm gonna show you guys how i curl these ends this is the african way to curl your braids 
So I'm just going to take a small strand of hair and I'm going to wrap it around the base where I originally tied a knot. And I am going to lightly rotate the braiding hair downwards as you can see in a spiral motion. Do not wrap this tightly or else you will not get the curl to come out correctly. So I'm just gonna continue wrapping downwards all the way to the end or as far as I can go with the braiding hair. Once I've done that, you're gonna see the magic. Alright, so after I reach the end of the braid, I'm just going to take one piece and then I'm going to push upwards all the way up until I can't push anymore. And then I'm going to take the remainder of the braiding here and I'm going to tie two single strand knots around the curled braiding here. And there you have it guys, this is how you curl the ends of your braiding hair, the African method. Here are the final results of my hair with the curled ends. See how pretty they look? Thumbnail! Boom! From this to something amazing. Yes ma'am! This is how the back of my hair looks. Boom, bam, bye! Now, if you really thought I was going to leave you like that, then you're crazy. But guys, there's no way you have such laid braids without laid edges. Like, come on, y'all. So here I am, slaying my edges. Just, you know, something simple, something classic. Because we're not doing anything extra. I was, but my edges just wasn't working with me. So I ended up just slicking everything back. At this point... I was just like, uh, this is just not going to work. So I ended up just, like I said, slicking it back and we just left it as is. After laying my edges, I tied it down with a satin scarf and I left it on my head for about 10 minutes and I went to dip the ends of my hair and I'm going to show you results now. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and spread the word about the Unique Gang. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for our next one.